It's music time in Africa. Hey, everybody. Are you ready for a great show? Right now, we have a group from Central America, the country of Belize. The name of the group is Garifuna Collective. It's a people and a group of musicians who are Afro-Amerindian. That means they have African ancestry and American Indian ancestry all mixed together. And they have a very interesting, beautiful sound in their music and in their language and culture and food. Anyway, check out this concert. Hi, my name is Lloyd Augustine, and this song is Kalweyo Larigeweyo, which means day by day. And this is taken from Andy Palacio album. Um, this song is basically talking about giving thanks and praises to the Most High.
Diego, and in front of me here we have Sam Harris, Lloyd Augustine, on the small drum we have Joshua Arana, on the bass drum we have Denmark Flores, on the bass guitar we have Al Obando, and on the turtle shells we have Mohabob Flores. This next song is called Mongulu. It's, Mongulu is the name of a young boy, a Garifuna boy, whose mother hope and pray that when he gets older, when she gets older, he would be able to help her when she is down. So, Mongulu. <laughs>
And this one is entitled Obo. And this is basically talking about poverty amongst children around the world. <laughs> Wow, that was fantastic. I love this music. Thank you so much. And thanks for having us. You're welcome. And welcome to Washington, D.C. Thank, Thank you. you. This isn't your first time, though, is it? No, not no. the first time. You were here in 2011 with the Smithsonian Folklife yeah. Festival? Yeah. Yes, also 2008. Were. Also 2008? Yeah, when, when we did the tribute to Andy Palazzo, tribute tour to Andy Palazzo. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you guys are on tour right now, promoting yes, your yeah. second album. That's right. This one right here. Ayo. 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 And your, the name of your group is Garifuna Collective. Can you tell us what that means? What's the story behind that name? Um, the Garifuna Collective started out as an, as an idea between um, two important people in our country, Ivan Duran and Andy Palacio. And Ivan Duran is a, is, is a music producer, okay. and Andy Palacio is a musician. Okay. Um, a Garifuna musician. Mm-hmm. And um, they wanted to, to make good music, 
um, as a as a mean of teaching Garifuna, the Garifuna ness and Garifuna culture to the world. Wow, that's beautiful. And you you are from all of you are from Belize. Yes, we are. Yes, but the yeah. Garifuna people are actually from also other countries. Is that that's right? Right. Which ones? We're we're in um, Honduras, mm -hmm. Guatemala, and Nicaragua. And what makes you different than other people in those countries? It's it's uh, maybe the way how we speak the language because th those guys from Honduras, Nicaragua, and Guatemala, mm -hmm. they have a Spanish accent in their Garifuna, Spanish. Yeah. And we, we're from Belize, we have English, so that we have that English accent in our Garifuna. I see. And ga make Garifuna itself, as a whole people, how are you different than other people there in those countries? Um... We are you have African ancestry. Right, we have African ancestries, African and Arawak Indians. We are a mixture of that two cultures. And they both intermingle on, on an island because there's a shipwreck that happened in... Maybe Josh can give you a little oh, history yeah. on that um, shipwreck. In, a, in, <coughs> our, in our history, it says that, um, that, that on, the island, on the island of St. Vincent, there was a shipwreck in 1635 um, where enslaved... West Africans swam ashore and intermingled with the island Caribs that resided on that island. Um, as a result, it became the Garinago people. I see. So your language is a mixture of... Our language is predominantly of, um, of Carib and Arawak Indian origin. Okay. With some West African words influence, and things. Influenced by, by, by West African, English, Spanish, and French. Wow. So, do you have an idea about what country that boat came from in West Africa? We are not sure, uh -huh. but um, all we know is that it was it was a ship yeah. from coming from West Africa, the western part of. Africa. I see. That's. Can you say something? Can you say hello to me in Garifuna? It will be <laughs> Desiree, maybe <laughs> since since you're a lady. <laughs> <laughs> well. I could say hello, but I would more more ask you okay. how you're doing. Great. Ida biangi, Ida biangi, Ida biangi, and you respond uwa de giati, uwa uwa de de giati giati, uwa de giati, uwa de giati. That's mean I'm okay. I am okay. I'm yeah. great because I'm with you guys right now. <laughs> well, back to back to um, the Garifuna Collective. You were telling me about the um, the idea behind this music right mm -hmm. so um so what happened well like i mentioned earlier the idea behind the music is um and they had this dream of of wanting to teach the garifuna culture to the world because the culture does not belong to to those that are of that are that are of Gari, that are of garifuna descent all cultures belong to everybody that is mm. that is of the world and um, and they would, did not want to keep this culture hidden in in Belize or in Honduras or in Guatemala somewhere in some village. He wanted to make sure that the world knows about us, mm -hmm. and so that the culture can also can also be preserved. That's beautiful. That's a great mission. Very important. And you're carrying that on now. Right. That's what we're doing with your own style. Um, who's the leader of the group now? We Do you not really have one? No, we don't no. have any oh, leader. This is just one group. The collective is the collective. It is yeah. a collective yeah. in the true sense of the, so word. We the, yeah. sense of the word. After Andy passed away and we decided that we were going to continue his dream. Wow. Because um, he fought very hard to let the Garifuna culture be known to the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he passed away, he couldn't realize his dream. So we decided that we we're going to record an album and continue his work. So the album is now finally finished, so we are on tour, you know, continuing his work, let the world know about the Garifuna culture. So is this and dedicated to him in yeah, a way? Yeah, that album is dedicated to Andy. That's The title is Ayo, which means Farewell Andy. Oh. And this is a new beginning for the group now, moving forward. Oof. That's sad. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, beautiful, it but it's emotional too. Mm -hmm. Do you guys get emotional still sometimes? Um, the, the, the album itself... The name of the al album itself, Ayo, meaning meaning goodbye, it gives us the opportunity to say a final goodbye to the to the physical person, mm -hmm. to the body of Andy mm -hmm. Palacio. 
but just as just as our our african brothers do back home and our indian ancestry we believe in our ancestors so we always believe that that the spirit is always here with us so whenever we we, we, we are performing these songs and the palacio's body is not here but in spirit He's yes, here with us. Believe, yes. We can that's feel. Right. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you next. If you feel his presence when you're when you're yeah, making definitely. music every all the time. time. Every wow, time. <laughs> that's wonderful. Um, okay, so tell me a little bit of, about the music. First of all, these turtle shells are awesome. I've never seen anywhere, and I've been around <laughs> in Africa quite a bit. I've never seen anything like this. Um, so, can you tell me? Is this something that's traditional or unique to Belize, or is it your thing, Garifuna collective it's, thing? It's um. We we used to play our um a couple of guys way back then used to play music together and just play traditional songs, and there's this this gentleman by the name of Pen Catano mm -hmm. who decided that okay I'm tired of playing the same thing over and over let's try to fuse different things into this music, and it's where he picked up his electric guitar, fused in the um turtle the turtle shell. shells. And created a group called the Turtle Shell Band. <laughs> and through the Turtle Shell Band, he was the first to start the Punta Rock music. Mm. So Punta Rock evolved from traditional Punta. Right? Which, which is a dance. Which right. is more rhythm. Yes. Yeah. That you use your waist. I saw some of that on, on one of your videos, yeah. I think. That's beautiful. I'm going to try that out tonight in your concert. Of course. Right. And we have, a, we have this young lady to teach you. Good. <laughs> I'm counting on it, Desiree. Sure, no problem. <laughs> I will be there. Looking well, so the, the turtle shells, though, I mean, is this something that you a lot of people play and they just pick up turtle shells and play? Or was it this one individual that got the creative idea? It was to, just um, one individual who I had see. the creative idea. So there must be a lot of turtles around. Um. They, did they have to go out and, and hunt fish for those? They have to go. They have to go. Did and they eat the? Them. Did they, they eat the? Yeah. Right. Did you guys design. eat the yeah. meat. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Of course. Yeah. You're probably Very hungry delicious. for your own food. You've been on tour for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> turtle soup and stuff. Yeah. Originally, the turtle shells were used for to do to do artwork on. Oh. But eventually. Turn into music into an instrument. I like the way mm -hmm. they sound. Yeah. Yeah, I really do. And so you're the lead drummer. Yeah. You you play uh the what is the Primero. Primero, which means yep. first, first, right? First. Yeah. Okay, so when you guys are playing those songs that you played, are you kind of in charge of the setting the tempo and stuff with that drum or what's the role of your drum? Um well the segunda drum yeah. is the drum that sets the tempo. The bigger gives, the bigger one. Yes. Oh. That's the that's the pulse, that's the heartbeat. It's oh. the foundation of of all the rhythms. Oh, it's this drum right here. Yeah, that's right. a segunda. Segunda. Which means second in Spanish. Remember mm -hmm. I told you that where our language is heavily influenced by French, Spanish, and English. Yes. So, that's so that one got Spanish segunda. somehow. Segunda, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the, this one? The primero, on the other hand, does most of the variation and improvisation. And it changes based on, based on movement of dancers. Yeah. And based on changes in rhythms. Okay. So you really rely a lot on what you see in the audience. Yep. How nicely the hips are yep. moving. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right? And changes in songs. Yeah. Also. That's beautiful. And yep. you're playing... The rhythm guitar. The rhythm guitar. Yeah. How'd you learn how to play? Um, actually, I got lessons from this guy, Adrian the Duck. Mm -hmm. um, I got interested in guitar, basically, you know, it's for the paranda music, because I love paranda music. I was doing music for a quite a number of years, mm -hmm. but not playing any instrument, just lead vocals oh. on, a, on a band called Punta Rebels. So when I got interested in paranda music, then I had to go and learn to play an instrument. So I got lessons from Adrian the Duck Martinez. What is paranda music? Paranda music is... Um, it's culturally based with two drums and mm. uh, and the message behind the music is usually um, serenading the women mm. and singing about um, so social issues and so on. I see. Yeah. So it's you were learning that to get the girls. No, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's nice and groovy, so you could it's just. It's nice and groovy. Easy. Yeah. yeah. It's much more easier work than punta rock. I see. Yeah. And if you've mm -hmm. seen the mariachi, have you seen the mariachi? Yeah. Uh, the the parana is the parana music has the same idea. You go around serenading, oh nice, sing songs, and um, it's 
Paranda is usually accompanied by an by an acoustic guitar, right. which I would want to say we also Use. got from oh, the Spanish culture. I yeah. see. Mm. Well, now the songs that you did, which are beautiful, and I love the way you sing. It's just really very. It is very unique, and yeah. I'm so glad that we're able to share this with the African audiences. Definitely. Um, and that you're here in DC, and DC audiences can play it. But um, the are those songs traditional songs that you've just that you've rearranged, or are they your own? It, did you create the the all of the music and lyrics by yourself, or a combination of the two? It's a combination of two. I see. Um, like the song that I did, the the uh, ubo, yeah, that I wrote that song and we arranged that entirely from this from scratch i see um and that song is basically talking about uh, you know poverty amongst children around the world yeah and you know back then when our ancestors used to write the songs they usually capture just a little just the area where they're at but now in this modern world mm -hmm. we're now capturing the entire world now what's happening in in the entire world now i see so that's the reason why i came up with that song oh that's nice yeah. mm -hmm. and what about the one that you sang mongolo yeah well mongolo is a traditional song mm -hmm. um in spite of all the fact of the struggle of parents and wanting our children to become better mm -hmm. we give them our all so when it comes when we when they're old enough we expect that they would give us back something at, or at least look back to where they were, to where they at, where they at, and try and give a helping hand. That's basically what that's a great Mongolos. message. Yes, to the whole world, right? For sure. Okay, well, we we don't have too much time more, but since we're, um, you guys are now uh, talking and sharing your music with an African audience, uh, and you're related, I just thought maybe you might have some something to say about. Uh, Africa, for example, you were telling me earlier that you like uh, some African musicians a of lot. Of course, of course. Who, who do you like? I like a lot of. I listen to a lot of West African artists like Habib, Kwate, Habib Kwate, right? Yeah, from Dobet, Mali, right? From Mali, yep. Dobet as well. Uh -huh. I listen to her a lot. I mean, and my favorite artist is from South Africa, Lucky Dube, a oh. reggae artist. Man, I love his music. Yeah, you know, he really actually inspired me to sing. Wow. So, yeah. How did you hear his music? Um, I was on this island in Belize called Kikaka. Uh -huh. That's in, I think in 1992. Mm -hmm. That's when I first hear his music. And man, and that, his music just calls me, you know. And that I, I didn't know that I was going to sing either. I wasn't into music oh, like wow. that. <laughs> yeah, but his music just, you know, calls me. And then I said, oh, man, I really want to be like that guy. Then I start to get collecting his music and so on. And from then, here I am here today. You, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was on the radio? Yeah. No, mm -hmm. this it was in the club because oh, they were just playing. Yeah, yeah, so I just hung around there at the club. Although I'm a kid, you know, kids are not allowed to be at the yeah. club. <laughs> but I still hung around there to listen to Lucky Dube. Wow. Yeah. And what about you two? Do you, do you like African music? Do you listen to it? Do you ever think about Africa or your 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 culture's ancestry in that way? Well, I think about it, and hopefully one day I I am hoping that I could go to Africa and see what it's really like with my own two eyes. Yeah. And I'm sure that I'll have a little just to share back with my ancestors or people from that area. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, we'll get a tour going for you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Like Josh? To go there. Uh, well, for me, um, what I would really like to know is that is the connection between our music and theirs. Where exactly did we get our rhythms from? Mm -hmm. What specific part of Afri Africa did our people originate from? And to go back and see what what the culture is like in its true sense mm -hmm. and what aspect of their culture we still use as a part of our own culture. God willing, that will happen. Definitely. Yeah. Thanks so much for sharing your music and your Garifuna culture and your group Garifuna Collective with us here on Music Time in Africa and Voice of America. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for we having highly us. appreciate yeah. this. Yeah.